TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. Well, by the time you see this, I know for a fact we will not be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Don't forget, man, we do got merch. You get me? I always got mine. I appreciate anybody who's bought some recently and at all. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't have to. Uh, don't forget, we do got Patreon. We post five days a week on Patreon, Monday through Friday. And now, since I've been on this 14-day hiatus from the tube, we post stuff that for sure will get me a strike on the tube. So I just put it over there for free, too. So go follow for free. There's a free membership where you can watch that type of stuff. Uh, <clears throat> and don't forget, uh, all of the information that you're looking for is located in the description below. This is police interceptors, but they don't. They stop putting the. They stop putting the season and title, or whatever. Arm response to man who falls out of his window. That's tough. Let's get into it. It's all quiet on the Nottingham front. But trouble's coming up fast. Currently uh, travelling to Mansfield from the city uh, in relation to uh, this lad who's wanted. Rob Ely and Spencer Pugh are after a potentially dangerous man. The young lad's wanted in relation to... Uh, an assault in Mansfield uh, yesterday afternoon where he's stabbed uh, another male in the back. Uh, the young lad's also got markers for previously carrying knives. Given his history, they want backup. Yeah, and another GBH. double crew unit from somewhere would be appreciated just so we can uh, get it front and back properly. Jen and police dog Quantum are in the area. But are they up for a party? Do you want to come to Mansfield for a wanted mail? Yeah. Cheers. Mansfield, here we come. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't mean to, I don't want to bring Lisa up, but would Lisa have said yes? Who knows? But Jen and Quantum definitely coming. You know what I'm saying? She's in convoy with us en route. Local units are already on scene, but suddenly... There's somebody here, you've got somebody armed with a knife on a different job. Oscar Fox shot 5-8 from ONH, or any... Is that a separate incident with somebody with a knife? Yes, yes. He received... We can divert, however, we're going to another grade one where there's a wanted male for a... a ...stabbing from yesterday. A fresh incident and far more urgent. He's uh, armed and he's now locked himself inside the address. Yeah. OK, let's go, go into this. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, this is much more, you know what I'm saying, Greek. This is a much better scenario for negativity. My bad. 5-8 would divert to you. All change with a positive outcome. Jen, if you got ears on, we we'll just uh, head into this one and sort of start off with the uh, five thirds of the siege. Initial reports don't sound good. There's been a domestic incident. The victim seems to have fled out of a, uh, a window. Uh, the offender's still inside the address and he's armed himself with a knife. The just over there is a taser resource to try and uh, see if we can offer some assistance. We've also still got the dog officer with us as well uh, for any flight contingency. Man, to start off, we normally start off with chases. This is getting a little bit different right now. The only thing flying right now is the X5. Is the scooter going to get out the way? And touches down at the address to news that ups the ante. So we've just had an update um, from Officer on scene that it's actually a machete this person's got access to, so we're going to have to put this back to our control room to assess it for a potentially a firearms authority. Rob and Spence need to weigh up the scene. Where's the Honestly, where is Lisa? This is her forte. Is this a different division? Because I know they put multiple divisions on this show, so I'm just trying to figure it out. About the machete. Uh, the front partner who's inside the address. He's, he's that, went, she's he's got the cut to her hand. hand. So an ambulance is coming for her. Yeah. It seems the suspect slashed his partner's hand. 
She's en route to hospital. He's going to jail. He's still inside. But he's trying to hide what he's going out. There is a crumb of good news, but it's a pretty meagre one. I'm relatively satisfied this is not a machete. Uh, I've got, it's actually for a Rambo knife, uh, as is the deed sheath that's in the rear garden. Uh, the blade would be around 12 inches long, sorry. The suspect, who they believe has a mere 12... He said that like it was nothing, a 12-incher? First and foremost, let me start off by saying pause because it's, it's needed in this situation. But it, so how much is, how long is a machete? Like, come on now. The inch blade is at a front window slurring aggressively. It would certainly be of assistance if we'd have access to the baton gun. Worried the man might be a danger to himself, Rob wants authority to use less lethal baton guns that would stop him in his tracks. You're gonna blow me. That hurts too. Apart. Yeah. Yeah. What with? Meanwhile, Spencer cops the verbals. Have you got any weapons in there? Yeah. What have you got? Yeah. I can't hear you very well, mate. Do you want to come to the window? <laughs> Sorry. Understood, sir. Thank you. Bang on authority. <laughs> oh, mate, if you've done nothing wrong, mate, you won't be. You'll be all right coming to the front door, then, won't you? Just get back to the threshold of the gate to contain it because they're giving it authority. Thank you. Armed with baton guns, Rob leaves Spence out front and can Rob ready. Tains the rear. Is there anything around there I can stand on? Trump, Trump lead. Hey. So So why they got the glocks too? I'm not using a trampoline. <laughs> what for? Hey? See if I can see through this window. <laughs> One bounce and he'd be up there. Come to this open window, uh, window in the middle. See what he's doing? With the suspect now distracted at the back. Show me both your hands, please. Spencer peeks inside the front. Rob, this is a bathroom. Can't see I was about to say, like, that's a bathtub. That ain't the front. Any weapons in here? Can you see me? Just lock up, all right? While interceptor know. Phil Broughton leads negotiations. Come to this window, we'll have a chat. Who's there? Yeah. Who's there? There's nobody right. here apart from me. Right. I promise you're going to be talking to me. So come to this open window, we'll have a chat. Phil, you slick. I promise that you're going to be talking to me currently. But some other stuff might occur. Chat. The man's made it to the window, but he sounds drunk and looks worse for wear. How are we? You've got some blood on your nose. How are you? Are you all right? Two and H and to Oscar one. Uh, officers are engaging with the uh, subject, appears to have some minor facial injury. They're keen to get the suspect medical attention. Just get back inside, please. Don't, don't climb out. He's got a knife. Yeah, he's got a knife in his waist. But he's leaning dangerously out of the window. Stay there, Harris. No, just stay there, Harris. Just be very careful, so don't want you injuring yourself. Climb back in. Bro cannot really do any seriously damaging things from this. No, just check it, make sure you're right. You've got some injuries. Just get off the seat there. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. No, no, don't climb out. Don't climb out. Don't climb out. I'm not gonna even lie to you. I did not expect that to happen off rip like that. I I do hope everything is all right with him. I hope he didn't cause any bodily harm, and I hope he is brought to justice for his crimes committed against his 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 his, his partner. YouTube. But also, let's get negative. You're gonna blow me apart. Yeah. Intercept. No, no, no. no. Yeah. He's bounced off a table and hit a concrete patio. He's, he's got a knife in the back of his waistband. Be careful, mate. You'll roll him to me. With the knife out of the picture. Is he asleep? It's not there anymore. He's it's no longer an armed incident, but now an urgent medical one. We're suspecting C spine now, aren't we? Talk to me, bud. Talk to me, mate. 
Get out our truck. Fortunately, firearms officers are advanced first aiders with specialist medical equipment, which might just save his life. Dude, uh, hey, chill out, mate. Talk to me. Okay, he's not got update. Okay, Oscar one, but he's not. That honestly was not the move. I understand you inebriated, but. Got the knife and get an ambulance. Somebody might have to take off me so, so we can do an emergency search at the front. They've no idea if anyone else or any other weapons are inside. Got it, mate. Sweet. So while the suspect gets medical attention, Jim goes to town with a big red key. Jen, put Go some on. verbal challenges in. Police officers, we put Doors going in, boss. Please. 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 We're going to be better for the back door. That'll be a no. We're winning now, mate, aren't we? Can't see anyone, Jim. That's that door durable as hell, golly. That's free promo. Who made the door? Take Jim another one, mate. Sure. Do you want to swap? No, we want one more. Yeah, yeah. Get Jim off red key responsibility. Because he that door is getting the best of him. Spencer, I think you're top, mate. Please, Spencer, Spencer, That's it. I've got the stairs. Okay. Rob, I'll come with you. Yeah, move in. Police officer with a taser, make yourself known. Police with a taser, show yourselves. Corridor head, mate. Stage by stage. Searching. They secure the house. Sweet, Where are the weapons at? Room's clear out. Establishing that it's now empty. Chief inspector with the clear the address. And locating the knife allegedly used in the mm. earlier assault. Okay, so stand back. That's a machete, ain't it? That's not a machete. There's a knife on the floor. While the man alleged to have used it... Just stay calm. ...is flat out in the back garden. Oh, that's, that's it for that's me. It. That's it. Yeah. Where progress is being made slowly. Oh. We're just cutting your top off. It's just so we can expose your chest. All right, we're going to check for any other injuries. Ambulance is coming. And we're all going to be OK, yeah? He's not making it easier by trying to bite. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, so you're not moving. You're not moving. Yes, mate, relax, relax. Don't, don't. We're here to help. Okay, so relax. Interceptors have kept him stable, and the cavalry is here. It's a bit bitey. Yeah. He's obviously intoxicated. He's agitated, and he's, he's trying to resist all the help from the ambulance. What time is it in the UK? Like it seems like it's. Uh, we understand. Early. He's drunk quick. And it is that they are going to be administering some drugs to try and help calm him down, uh, relax him a bit, and, and get the help that he needs. Which is easier said than done. Calm yourself down, right, geezer, because people in. are looking after you. Hey, Don't you dare. Don't, Don't, Don't you dare. Now he's threatening to spit. Yeah, you threaten that spitting, you get a mask put on your face. Oh, come on, mate. Yeah? Despite his antics, cops and paramedics soldier on. Okay, for, uh, so did he come out of that window? Backwards. Came out back like... Yeah, so he sat... Bum, bum. Bum in, in the windowsill, yeah, and feet just, in, yeah. and then just gone backwards. Okay. Finally, medication calms him down. So we've got about 60 seconds. It should go a little bit flatter. And he's away to hospital for treatment in a stable condition. Yeah, bro is overly... In. We're all trained. If they made him blow right now, he would blow 12 times over, because there ain't no way. To a high level of advanced first aid, we carry an advanced first aid kit to deal with scenarios a bit better than um, some of our other colleagues. And that advanced training of firearms officers may have saved his life. The suspect who fell from an upstairs window made a full recovery from his injuries. <laughs> Hey, did y'all see Phil? Phil was genuinely shocked. He was... Why? Look at Phil. Upstairs window made up... You see him in the corner. Full recovery from his injuries. That's not funny, man. That's, that's unfortunate. He was convicted of ABH and possession of a bladed article and got 18 months behind bars. The knife was destroyed. 18 months. Could have been worse. Interceptors aren't known for Elvis impressions, but they do have one thing in common with the King, suspicious minds. Never 100% trust somebody that you're dealing with. Some people we deal with will try and lead you into a false sense of security, think that everything's okay and that they're being compliant. Let you That's a fact. That's what anybody does. You guard down and then suddenly they'll either try and assault you or 
run away or, or, or God knows what. Very slippy. It's coming down cats and dogs as Lewis Marshall and Lisa DeSantis respond to reports of a theft from a pensioner. Give you a bit of background on this. Here we go, Lisa. The victim's really hard of hearing, quite vulnerable. Um, he's come across this. Lisa has genuinely become the best part of this show. Don't act like y'all don't tune in currently to see if she do something in an episode. Come on now. Baby female, she's I'm rooting for her. She's honestly my hero. She's my hero. Like, I want to go to work and do nothing if I work the traditional. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would want to model my work after hers because it's honestly some of the best stuff that I've seen. She's driving, though. A young woman's allegedly swiped an old man's money and car keys. What car is it again? It's a Mini in silver. The Mini's been pinging ANPR cameras and given it's 3am, cops doubt <clears throat> it's a vulnerable pensioner behind the wheel. This is the, uh, the this whole scenario is crazy. What was that vulnerable pensioner doing? He was trying to be somebody's sugar father, wasn't he? <laughs> no bypass. Oh, no bypass. Uh, oh, no bypass. Oh, Fellow interceptor Lenny has stopped the Mini a few miles away. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You driving, Lisa, push the gas. Lisa joined up to Nick Baddies and... 13 years, advanced driver, Oculus Crest VR. Protect the good guys and returning a car to a vulnerable man is... Wonder what she be doing on that Oculus. Right up her street. Uh, yeah. left arm, a tribal symbol. Okay. Let's see what the crack is. The crack is that three occupants can't explain why they're in an old man's car. The wrong ones, aren't they? I thought it was a woman. Yeah. Wrong ones who won't give the right details. Ah, uh, you're bullshit. Yeah, How old are you? Because there's no turn here. Right, this, you're, you're lying. It's not guess who, you know. You? It's not guess who. It's dead simple. You're lying. Whoa. Whoa. Talk to him, Lisa. The passenger's given a false name and a story with more holes than his polos. Well, what's right. made you what, what polos He's anyway? definitely off a of class A. You ain't see that face? He with more hole. Look, what is he chewing? There's nothing in his mouth. He's chewing. He biting down. What holes than his polos. Well, what's right. made you what, what polos anyway in the first place? While the driver is protesting his innocence. The car activated AMPR because it's on the on our list for um, being used by other people that maybe shouldn't be using it. Which is clearly right, isn't it? Because we've stopped you and you've got no license and no insurance. And the cops Hi, have Lisa. no patience for this charade. Yeah. All right, you're all under arrest. So this should affect this motor Yeah, you are. Right. Listen, this toy saying. You earn him all the rest right on suspicion of stealing this mismaked vehicle, okay? That's the reason why. It's all kicking off. I have four garlic cottages. Listen, go. And they'll need more cuffs than Liberace. I'm telling you, it's just past me your hands. Right, stand up. The driver continues to play innocent. If you're not the owner of it, you're coming in. You're not. No matter what name. I am. Look at Lisa. Oh, man. I want to give an apology. <laughs> No, I don't. No, I don't. You're working good on this he episode. Gave you, you're not him. Are you? He's not him. But Lenny has finally found out who the front seat passenger is. You are under arrest on suspicion of burglary. All right, mate. And he is a wanted man. I'm to you you've been identified as using uh, bank cards, uh, which have been stolen from a burglary. All right. He's wanted for burglary, so he's... Um, He's been Definitely going to jail. On the -round, but unfortunately, we weren't born yesterday. The wanted passenger is en route to the Nick, leaving these two to wait for a van. Chariot's on its way. But one of them can't wait. Lewis, this lad wants to wee. I don't know if you want to accompany him to the Porsche. I need a piss pad. Uh, can you hold it? Is it possible? Yeah, really bad. I'm gonna do no running. No, well, uh, I've right. got nowhere to run to be fair. Are you happy going in there? Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Right. 
You use your level. You gotta go, aren't you? Right, it's coffee. It's, what are we doing? I ain't holding it, Fee. That's indecent exposure. Um, they would not let you do that in America. I promise you. You would have to pee on yourself. Because they're adding another charge. You can't pee in public in America. It's strange that the cops is letting him even. You know what I'm saying? What's what's that? My polos. Rob. Stick yeah, him in your that. pocket. I'm not holding them. You got to. I'm not. <laughs> Why ain't taking the cuffs off? You're no chance. Why can't you just hold me? Why I'm just... <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not holding you, lad. No. That's it. You don't go any further than that. Go on, get no further, mate. Yeah, good. Stay there, then. You sorted it? Oh, we don't want to. I break your wrist. I can't take them off, mate. Unfortunately. Lewis suspects he's looking for a chance to leg it. But it's a pressing situation. Just got to find a way, man. Fast. Find a way. I've got to try it. I'd do it. I, I, I think I'd be able to do that. Two in. Two in. Just do it for me. Never going to happen. You are, right, mate. I would be able to also do this. You're going, lad. You can do it yourself. Give him that advice and a bit of guidance. Point him in the right direction, and uh, I think he'll be able to cope. <laughs> Coping turns out to be a long process. Yeah, he's going to be on his sweats. You sorted it. Why don't you just take one? No, you can do it. You can do it. Just take your time, but you can do it. Have faith. People have done it before, you know. They've, they've took the nick a little bit and they've tried to escape and, and perhaps have escaped some people. So, uh, for me, those cuffs are not coming off until he's um, secure in a, in a custody suite. Well, do what do you mean you can't do it? All you got to do is that. It's part snapping my wrist. I'm willing to let you go there, but I can't take them off. I know what you're saying, mate, because if I was to do a runner or whatever, then you're getting shit, don't you, then? It's, uh, it's not fast, aren't you? It's not a chance, mate, I'm willing to take. No, I know what you're saying. Which seems a wise decision. I can remember once I got done for shoplifting, and I said to Popper, I said, uh, there's a pie in the oven at home, and my mum's at work, and the oven's on. I've gone to the back garden, and I've made out I'm going into the call bunk to get key. And I've darted up... Same, garden through edge and I'm struggling to get through these conifers. Copper, I swear to God, he just run straight through them like it was. That's what I thought. Come on. A cop believe that? A cop believe that story? Oh, there's a pie in the oven at home. My grandma left. I gotta go turn the oven on. Alright, pip pip, cheerio, let's go. Like, what, what, like, come on, bro. What's on, mate? And on that tale from a misspent youth, the chariot arrives to put him out of his misery. Did I get fired for that? All that's left is to return the car to its vulnerable owner. Our job is done. The man with no name was convicted of vehicle taking without consent, plus three counts of fraud connected to a separate incident. He was sentenced to a total of 13 months behind bars. Mm. That's not bad. The female passenger was charged with being carried in a stolen vehicle. She awaits her day in court. While the driver with the wee problem was charged with taking a vehicle without the owner's consent and mercifully had his handcuffs removed in time. You could have helped him. No, I don't get paid <laughs> enough for that. Lisa cracking unfunny jokes. Talking about you could have helped them. How so? Lisa want to do the grab bro meat? Wiggle it off too? The access? Like what's going on? Interceptors love a laugh. I'm joking today, you two. Within this police car is just constant banter. All day long. It is, it is a laugh a minute. <laughs> is that a real gun? Yes, it is. I thought it was just a... a... A water pistol. But not everyone likes to banter with the cops. Get off my shoes, you ugly bastard. I remember that episode. Oh, he's a delight. It's a difficult job, and if you didn't laugh, you'd cry at times. Completely. <laughs> I don't think an on-duty police officer could ever make me laugh. I don't find anything funny. I don't think I'd laugh. Oh. 
It's the late shift and Jen Else is in a rush on the A6514. She's blue lighting with police dog Quantum after reports of a stabbing. Another one? There's been a female stabbed Radford Road. Injuries, stabbing to her leg and to her head by potentially an outstanding male offender. There's a clear description of the suspect who is at large. White male, red jacket, I've got to just be mindful that someone's been stabbed. Is it like a domestic so or is it random? Safety of the dog at the minute. I'm thinking about my taser unless they're obviously running away, in which case I'll deploy Quantum. Quantum's already been stabbed in the line of duty, protecting Jen, earning him a bravery award and Jen's lifelong devotion. Hey, hey. Salute big quantum. I didn't know that. We've seen quantum before. I didn't know he got he caught a where's that episode? <laughs> They have a possible address for the suspect not far from the scene of the stabbing. We've got a scene on there, that's presumably where it's at. Leaving the victim to paramedics and local units, Jen heads over to the address. Don't discount that he's been home and got changed or got rid of the jacket. She leaves Quantum behind to search for the armed man, alone. You're brave, Jen. Hey, you're all right. More work than I've ever seen somebody else do. Just keep this gate closed. Jen's first thought is public safety. Closely followed by her own. Stay in that gate for us. Stay in there. All kids do is play all day. What happened to the taser, Jen? Someone's there. Hi. Hello. You okay? Yeah. I think we might have the wrong address. Are you just you that live here? Yeah. With your family? Yeah. Awesome. That's all I need to know. Nothing to worry about. It's okay. He's Salute to Crypto for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Not the guy they're looking for. Be aware. Yeah, oh, ma'am. It looks like they've been given duff details, which means the suspect is still at large. Nine months. Nine minutes. He's got violent markers. Oh, really? officers on arrest, which is what they've just told me. I think missed. you missed it. Other interceptors have reached the right address. Is there coming? I'll probably get the dog out. Jen arrives to find the suspect in cuffs and behind bars. Friend of my girlfriend, I'm in the rock. Have you got a key? No, I haven't. Open the gate. What's that? What? Can you get that out of my face, please? But you're not allowed to use that. I'm not, I don't want that. it. I'll no, take it to court. One resident's not happy. Oi, keys, please. Keys. Keys. I don't want that in my face. I'll see you. And the sus blurred out. Don't worry about it. We don't know who you are, sir. Is that a Mountain Dew cold red in his hand? Suspect he's also objecting to the camera. Where's the keys? Where's the keys? No, explain to me. Yeah, it is. I'm asking the question. You're right. It's chaos. Yeah. You're a dupe with the camera, Blake. Yeah, do you know what? I'll get my solution. Yo, fam, that is a joke, yeah? I'm having a switch for you. Take my face, yeah? Filming third. I didn't give a shit. You're wrong coming right here with your camera, yeah? But finally, the suspect's out. Say it about you. Are you kidding? Get camera. The resident keeps ranting as they question the suspect. Somebody else on the park yeah, who I know exactly. and his missus are picking on my girlfriend. Who claims someone else, a woman, stabbed his girlfriend. Did you see her assaulting her? Yeah. yeah. What, I stabbing her? her? Stabbing. Right. Okay. How have you got those injuries on the back? And what you do, what you're telling us right now is you've seen somebody else doing that to your girlfriend. You're somewhere over here, not with your girlfriend getting in the ambulance, not consoling her. Going to, to to the hospital with her. Is that what you telling us? 
Obviously, a boyfriend come over, started getting in my face and that, and why I'm trying to talk to him, and said to me, I'm not bothered, I'll stab you all the way over there. He's got interest on his knuckle, on his left knuckle. Oh, somebody else. The suspect seems to have been in a scrap, but he's not wearing a red jacket as per the description. You're asking on suspicion or something? Yeah. It's a suspicion. It's not that I'm not saying you've done it. I'm not saying you've done it. He's being taken in for questioning. Meanwhile, yeah. they need to search for the weapon and a red jacket. Come here, come here, come here. Wait. Quite but as they hats. assess the address, Ranty resident re-emerges with his BMX. Followed by more disgruntled neighbours. Keep that door open. Just stay there for me. Just stay there. To <laughs> Jen up there like the Punisher or Batman or something. <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. I'll explain in a minute. I'll explain, OK? I'll explain. It seems there's no love loss for the cops round here. Mate! Mate! Don't close that door! Don't close that door! Thank you! Thank you! The reason why we're here is because there's been a stabbing. Down, down, down. Mate. Cooperation is in short supply, but this is a serious allegation. Uh, a female's been uh, stabbed. And he's going to kick me. And I've got my kids. Sorry? I've got my kids to go and see. Oh, yeah. why didn't you mention that straight away? Because oh, I've got to go, mate. Intimidate me here for what? Intimidate me when the dog is with one dog. Let me just... Not intimidating you. I'm just stood here. Let me just get something, Get my face, please. Right. He's getting in the way of the investigation. sound like he's missing a tooth or two. Investigation. And though he doesn't like the police, he does know them. Do you know who I am? You've arrested me before. Have I? Yeah, a few times you've had me. Have I? Yeah, you oh, know who okay. I am. He seems to know everyone. Three of you lot know who I am, yeah? And not one of you... In one. I've, I've never met you before in my life. And probably never wants to meet you again. I'm trying <laughs> to explain. When I come out the door, it's how you treated me. Yes. Stop where you are, yes. stop where you are. Why? Have you asked yourself why? Yeah, because there's been a stabbing. Well, it's serious, you, isn't it? You're not good for God's sake. At the end of the day, someone's been stabbed down the road. We've got to deal with it, haven't we? Having given his details, Mr. Ranty is free to go, but not before challenging Quantum to a bark off. As Batman Bark rides into the sunset, <laughs> he's got Batman Bark. <laughs> a lot of people like oh, God, oh. Cops can finally search the suspect's flat. You've always got it in the back of your mind that they're trying to interfere, so whilst others are. Removing objects or removing evidence. They were obviously quite anti-police. Um, we just needed to control him, and because he's shut the gate on us as soon as we, he's exited, so that just tells me that he's trying to hide something. A search of the property turns up neither knife nor jacket, which comes as no great surprise to Jen. We've not found anything, but they've had plenty of time to get rid of it, so yeah. The suspect was arrested on suspicion of causing grievous bodily harm and later released under investigation. It'll be a challenging investigation made no easier by Badaman Bark and his buddies. However, not every resident proves so camera shy. Get that camera back on for me and my lad. Get us on Channel 5, mate. Get us on Channel 5. Yeah? Get us out of this shithole building, mate. Me and my lad. You are terrorising us. If variety is the spice of life. What type of haircut was that? Go back. Is that a pony? What what's going on here? He got a ball fade with a pony. If variety is the spice of life. Got a vehicle failing to stop. Just for the road north towards a roundabout at Pleasley. Then interceptors get more kick than a vindaloo. One minute they're raiding a dealer's house. Please, please, please. The next, they're in the twilight zone. What is that? That's a woman in a wedding dress. At four o'clock in the morning. In this game, you can't plan ahead.
It's the back end of a long graveyard shift for John Lee and Craig Luckett. Just checking in, see where everybody is. Bedtime beckons, but the VW ahead has woken them up. So, yeah, MOT expired on the 8th of January. Just the text. John says the best thing about policing Nottinghamshire is going home to Derbyshire at the end of his shift. And there's just time for one last chance. I feel like in America, that's part of a problem. Going home to wherever you're from. Like, I need police that are from these areas should police these areas because they're more prone to, to know what different, to not take certain aggression behaviors as aggression. You know what I'm saying? Like, take a cop from a suburb that's over nice, never nothing going on. He grew up there and then he comes to police London. Like, everything's going to be aggressive to him. He's not going to know how to split the two, you know. Fix stop before bed across the border. Hello, you're right. What's your name, please, sir? What's your date of birth, my friend? All right, bear with us two minutes, all right? You're going to do a runner. Running the driver through the police computer okay. reveals his MOT isn't the only thing that's expired. The license has expired. So, so you haven't got a driving license then? Why are you driving then if you haven't got a license? Think of a good excuse. I don't know the law. Hey? I don't know the law. <laughs> Think hard <laughs> next time. <laughs> hey, W excuse. If I ever get in trouble, which I will not, I'm a law abiding citizen nowadays. That's what I'm going to use. I don't know the law. You haven't got uh, an MOT. <clears throat> no way. I just, I don't know MOT. Mm, when did you do that then? He didn't. And though he might not know the law, he's getting a crash course. We're going to be seizing your car because you have no driving license. So uh, just come and join me out here and we'll let uh, sort it. It's a straightforward stop and seize before bed. Or at least it would be if the driver. I know he just didn't do that. It's a straightforward stop and seize before bed. Or at least it would be if the driver had just, just dropped a bag of something white on the floor. Stand there, don't move. Craig. Don't move for me. Yeah. I don't even want to show this on here because this be the reason why they be. Hold on. This be the reason right here. What's that, please? Okay. What's that? That's literally just dropped out of your pocket. I don't know. He's denying all knowledge, which is harder to... It's a bag of stuff, y'all. It's a bag of that sugar of booger. ...do when the whole thing was captured on the in-car camera. There she goes. When did you find that in my pocket? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Quite sure. Just as you yeah. stood there, you've got your That's phone out, terrible. and it's literally just dropped on the floor. But on the floor? Mm-hmm. Dropped on the floor. Like this. Yeah, I've literally I don't just want to the <coughs> It's just dropped on yeah. the floor. Despite being caught white-handed, he continues to... He got on a velour sweatsuit, too? This boy was out here in 90s thugging. This is a whole 90s fit. Reeboks, velour... Sweatsuit. And I all jumpsuit. knowledge of the powder. Officer, to tell you the truth, I, I didn't know. I had it in pocket. You are telling me. This has just fallen from your purse. Eh? It, it was in my pocket. And when you told me it was on the floor, I was surprised. Which is strange because in the video, you look a lot like a man sneakily throwing something away. 
The end of the shift suddenly seems a long way away. What's your address? Yeah, it's over, buddy. They got you on camera driving it. It's yours. It's at the moment. I'm, at the moment, I'm giving it to my girlfriend. Wow, what, what? Have you got an address that you can be reached at or not? I'm sorry. I can What is your address? Can I check my phone, please? Nope. Who lives at the at the address? What's your girlfriend's name? I did not do that. Right, I think you're going to end up getting nicked, don't you? He certainly seems to be doing his best. Definitely, and he don't want to get out of address because he don't want y'all to go search his house. But y'all wouldn't have went and searched his house for that little test. He said he hasn't got an address to be served to summons that. Yeah, I think we'll have to do a drug swipe anyway. Because of the substance that we found, I'm going to request a roadside drug swab from you, OK? Have you done a drug swipe before? No. You need to flick your hair back so you get your hair out of your face. Yeah. You need to get a haircut, man, do you? Right, it's cotton. Right, stick your tongue out. I didn't know a that. quick lick will show if he's had cocaine or cannabis. And while they wait for the results, there's a breakthrough. If I need to send you a summons for this item here, have you got an address that I can send that to? Okay. In London, yes. Right, what's your London address then? Yeah. He's remembered where he lives, and as the sun rises on their never-ending shift, there's more good news. The good news for you, mate, you've passed your drugs test. Wow! A search of his car. He was serious. He, he might have not really even knew. Turns up nothing else iffy, so there's just one matter left. Can you please tell me what this substance is that's come from your pocket today? <laughs> to whom does it belong? Sorry? Whose is it? Was mine. If it was you, you found it in my body, mm -hmm. me, mine. So it was. Obviously. How much did you pay for it? It was a gift to my friend when you. He... <laughs> the gift that. The gift that just keeps on giving, that's tough. What are friends for? I'm reporting you for possession of Class A drugs, namely cocaine. Because you've not had one before, my boss has they authorized take the car to too? caution for it, OK? So that is recorded on our systems. If you get stopped again with this... Oh, because there's no MOT? Stopped. His MOT-free motor is being seized just seven days to renew his license and recover it before it's crushed. Odds are, this is goodbye. In the meantime, it's off to his girlfriend's. If he can remember the address. We don't need you to show us it again. The Class A Butterfingers was cautioned for possession of cocaine and issued a traffic offence report for driving without a license and... No, no, not sure. I don't want to... Don't even put it on. Next. And after uh, a four hour, five minute traffic stop, John finally got to go home to Derbyshire. Been a long week, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm confused, I don't know why. It's Still to come. Okay. The system says it's not your car, it's not insured to you. You know, if you're going to be lying to the police, it turns a minor traffic offence into something more serious. Peddling porkies to the police has never been harder. I know you haven't got a licence. I'm not daft. Gone are the days when a false name and a poker face could outfox the old bill. All right, not stop with them again. computers, buddy. Interceptors use multiple databases that hold millions of driver records and criminal records. Yeah, you're wanted for theft on the 18th of October this year at Castle Retail Park in Radford. Oh, rap sheet, buddy. In the police have got quite a few uh, systems that can access certain elements of people's lives. You know, if they've ever reported anything to us, been the victims, been the suspects. So we've got technology on our side that kind of fishes out the uh, the liars. Excuse me. It's the early hours. If I feel one more in Colchester. Or? Okay, now, hold on now. Lisa did some work today. Can we all give a round of applause to Lisa? <laughs> Salute. I ain't never seen it. This is my first time. That's tough. I lie. Okay. 
Absolutely. So hit the like button for Lisa, y'all. And the BMW ahead of Rob and Spence has aroused suspicion. Long way from Colchester. It's insured to an address 150 miles away, but... Registered Nottingham. Yeah, insurance was taken out last week. Odd. Come to word. Yeah, see what they're doing up from Colchester. The car is registered to a 25-year-old. It's a big old car for a 25-year-old lad to be driving around in. That's a long way from home. Little block the junction. What are you doing, mate, there? Seriously. Yeah, how are you? You got start. morning meetings? Good luck. You're never serious. I think you get to pull forward yes. and expense. Oh, well, give the mate. sub. Shout out Crit, though. Anyone home? It's not the best place to stop. Do you want to pull up and, and not block the junction for me, please? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Not there. I'm going to come a bit further forward because then our car's going to block the junction, isn't it? <sighs> Holy moly. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and bingo. There we go. Thank you. What's your name, please, driver? Oh, yeah. They drunk. And your date of birth? Sorry? Sorry, am I keeping you, mate? Am I, what's wrong? That basically means you can watch with no interruption. So if an ad runs, you don't have to see it. You get some, um, if I had them, the little emoji things. I told you what the problem is. Need to make it's some. not registered to you and it's not insured to you. Okay, I've told you that. I've told you that's why we stopped you. It's insured to an address in Colchester. So until I can establish who you are, we're potentially taking this car off you. Okay? The car is insured, but his name isn't on the policy. You not got a copy of the certificate, mate? Who set up the insurance? Yeah, all right. Oh. I'm sure this happens in America all the time, but like I've never seen no, I've never seen it. Spencer is a bit of a gadget man, and his favourite piece of 21st century tech is his trusty police laptop. Best Which he's entrusted to Rob to fire up. So he has got another car. The lads drive the vehicles. No. There you go. I love it. The lad's insured on a different car. Just jump out for us, Joel. But isn't covered to drive this one. Just come over to the side of the road, maybe it's a bit safer. See, I can you definitely have... assure you that I ain't never seen a cop with a laptop out in the middle of a traffic stop. Never seen it. Oh, another car, haven't you? Just let's go to the side of the road, mate. Is it a high and I? Yes. It's insured to you. Yeah, but I'm sending that. Yep. Yeah, a point. Me mate asked you if you had another car, and you said no, didn't you? Yeah, because I'm selling it. But you still have another it. car to which you're insured, and you're not insured to drive other cars under that policy. And when we bring this back, this is only insured to two people. But you, you're, you're, you're not, you're not, neither of which are you. Yeah, but I'm, I, this is my car, this I'm saying. I'm confused, I don't know why. Unfortunately, though, mate, the system says it's not your car and it's not insured to you. So, make it the laptop has proved that. The laptop. The laptop. The laptop. The laptop. The laptop. This is Oops, is it? The Oops a daisy indeed. Hey, is it your car or is it your yeah, cousin's car? Yeah. Right. So, why haven't you insured it? Because it's too expensive. So, who's insured it? My cousin. Hey, he kept it a buck, though. Well, the cheap way. Okay, but he's not put your name on the policy. Then so, unfortunately, we're, if you have a seat in our car, we're going to go through some paperwork, we're going to seize his car from you if I have no insurance. Okay? If I have no insurance? Yeah. I have insurance, you can check. We've checked and you haven't got any. I haven't got any insurance? Yeah, you haven't got any this insurance. Is, this is the reason for the stop, mate. That's why you just missed the whole entire script that they just gave you. You don't have insurance, bro. That's why we're trying, to go, we're trying to get to the bottom of. Keep up. The car is insured. Yes, the not car to you. is insured, but you are not. What are you trying to do? I don't get it. You hey? me. Maybe because I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm very mad you might run off. That's why, mate. Yeah, I'm going to run away and leave all my stuff. Joel. OK. Jo you can take me. You know my details. OK. okay. I'm, not taking anywhere. I'm not taking anywhere. We're going to deal with all the roadside. I'm not taking you anywhere. We're gonna, the, the car's going to be seized, so I don't think you've got insurance to drive this car. You've got nothing. You've got no ID, no policy, no certificate. No hope. So if car. I come back with papers saying I'm the second driver, I can take my car. Well, here's what's going to happen. So for today, it's going to be seized, and you're going to be reported. Oh, Listen to me. Gosh, Listen to me. Do you... <laughs> yeah, he's sick. Like, just look how far I am from. 
Because if you go around the corner and have a crash, they're going to come back to me and say, well, that's your job gone, mate. All right. As he calms down and accepts the truth, you guys are going to have to jump out, I'm afraid. His past yeah, sometimes you just got to accept what's happening, man. Ain't no arguing yourself out of this, man. They're going to go by the book every time. And just get their own wake-up call. I've got pajamas on. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best pajamas either. Was that my seat? Then the yellow one. Oh, he had them on him, huh? He had two of them. No, that's, no, that's a couple for our driver, mate. I feel a bit. I know he started off with a better attitude, but he was all right towards the end. Wasn't it wasn't the end. Yeah, once he realised it, he was a bit caught out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was he over with. Showed buddy. him on the screen as well. Don't mention the screen. Ooh. I wonder, does that come out of his pay, the police pay? The driver of the car, registered in Nottingham and insured in Colchester by his cousin from Birmingham, was summoned for driving without insurance and awaits his day in court. In the meantime, hopefully, Spencer's laptop was insured. I know, mate, you owe me a new laptop. I am really sorry. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I've had it for I've had it for two and a half years. Crunched it. Give it to give it to Rob for five minutes and he throws it on the floor. <laughs> I don't think you guys are funny, so I'm gonna end it right here. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone. And hopefully I'm back. I'm gone though.